Hello, and welcome to Tiled. Today, we're going to be showing you how you can transform your static content like PDFs, decks, or presentations into an interactive, shareable, and trackable experience using any design tool of your choice. Then, we'll assemble and layer on many different interactive elements like navigation, video, scrolls, and embedded elements all inside of our super simple drag and drop tile builder. We call these final interactive products micro apps. We're going to be designing our micro app inside of Adobe XD, but you can design your micro app inside of another product design tool like Sketch or Figma. You can also create a micro app in other design programs like PowerPoint, Google Slides, Adobe Illustrator, or InDesign, but just know that there are many more constraints when creating micro apps inside of one of these tools. Much of the creation process is the same for any of these tools, so just follow along and you should be able to translate this quick lesson to your design tool of choice. First, let's take a look at a typical document that we commonly see from most companies. Today, we're going to be working with a proposal in the form of a PDF. This proposal has an agenda page that outlines the flow of information in this document. We find that this usually makes for a great navigation in your micro app. I'll start in Adobe XD and set up some artboards to 1920 by 1080 since I'm designing for a desktop wide format. Later, when we sync these artboards with Tiled, these artboards will automatically show up in your pages panel on the left side of the builder. The first page design I want to create is a cover page for my micro app. This usually showcases a title for the micro app and maybe some motion like an animation or a background video to make it more engaging. And a navigation element, whether it's just one button to get started or multiple navigation options to let the user dive into the content however they choose. Next, I'll design a framework for a majority of the rest of the pages in my micro app. This will usually have a navigation element on either the side, top, bottom, or inside of a menu button. In this case, I'm using a st stacked navigation on the left side that's always present. In this framework, I've also left a large space on the right hand side for a bulk of the content we'll be pulling over from the document. I'm going to start transferring over some text and images from the PDF we're starting with and begin to arrange a few page layouts. Now, with that, that I have all of my artboards created and the content transferred over from the proposal, I want to highlight a few things. I mentioned before that any artboard that is 1920 by 1080 will become a page, but it's also important to know that any artboard that is not 1920 by 1080 will show up in your assets panel in the bottom right hand corner in the builder. So if I want to make a scrolling section like the one you see here, I've just created a long skinny artboard. We will overlay this section on top of your background artboard inside of the tile builder later. I've also used some smaller artboards to create pop-ups or what we call overlays which I will showcase later inside of Tiled as well. I've also left some blank spaces in a couple of the artboards here and created some indicators to show where we can add some embeddable content like a video and a form. Now that my designs are complete, we can move on to the syncing process. We're going to be syncing these artboards over to the Tiled Builder so we can continue our micro app assembly process. We have plugins available for Adobe XD, Sketch, and Figma, and you can find these in the plugin managers within these tools, or you can also download them from our website. I already have the plugin installed for Adobe XD, so that's what we'll, what we'll be showcasing today. However, the plugin looks and operates almost exactly the same in these other tools. First, I'm going to be using the plugin to create a new micro app. Then, I'll title my new micro app. I'll then choose the device size I created this for desktop wide, and choose a category in our tile library to file this under. Now you'll see the name of your new micro app in the drop down field. You can also sync your designs to an existing micro app from this list of micro apps in your library if you've, already, if you've already created one. I'll click sync and make sure that all of my settings are correct and hit sync again. You'll see a real time status of your artboard syncing and get a message once your sync is complete. I'll then select Open in Tiled, which will navigate us to the Tiled Micro App Builder. Now that we're inside of the Tiled Builder, you'll see that all of our artboards that were sized to 1920 by 1080 have synced over from XD and have been placed in the left-hand Pages column. You'll also see in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, we have our Assets panel. So all of our artboards, no matter the size, are also stored here. You can also drag and drop other types of assets to use in your micro app from your computer, such as MOVs, MP4s, JPEGs, 
SVGs, and more. I've brought in a video for us to use for this demo. Now it's time to start using our tiles to add in our interactive elements. First, I'm going to delete the image being used as my background, and I'll also replace this layer later. I've left a space in my design for a video I want to include on my cover page. So I'll drag and drop a video tile from the panel in the top right onto my canvas. I'll then resize it to fit the space. Then, I'll find the video I want to include in my design in the Assets panel. I'll also click on the tile to open the Settings panel for the video and turn on Autoplay, so the video will play automatically. Next, I'll drag and drop an image tile onto my video layer, resize it to fit the screen, and replace my cover design from the Assets panel. Next, I'll start adding hotspots to link my pages together. Again, I'll drag and drop a hotspot tile onto the canvas and resize them to fit the button. Now, using the drop-down menu, I can select which page I want this button to go to. I'll repeat this for my other buttons. You'll also see a button to open another video. We're going to open this using our overlay creation tool. Overlays are a great way to create different types of pop-ups like videos, menus, and dialog boxes. First, I'll click this button next to the overlay option in the bottom left-hand corner. Then, I'll set the background color and opacity. And again, I'll place a video tile and fill that tile with a video from our assets panel. You'll see that there is a default close button placed in the upper left corner that will take your user back to the page they just came from. On the next page, I've created a space for a scrolling section. I'll show you how we can create this effect. First, drag and drop a scroll tile onto your canvas and again, resize it to fit the space. Then, I'll find the artboard used in my scroll in the Assets panel and drag and drop the image into the scroll tile. I'm going to place another video here, and this time I'll need to right-click on this tile and select Send Backward to send it behind our scroll layer. I also need to add more hotspots to the left side of our page to create our main navigation. I'll drag and drop a hotspot tile over the length of this list of buttons. I'll then select a target for this current page, and then I'll click the Add button five times and select the rest of our pages. This is called a multi-hotspot, and it helps to keep the list of hotspots more organized and easier to select, resize, or copy and paste onto my other pages. Now that I've shown you a little bit of how the design and build process works, you should be able to continue and repeat those processes until you've finished your creating your first micro app. Once you're completely done building your micro app, click on the button in the bottom right hand corner that says publish. You'll then see an option that will allow you to notify certain teams in your organization of your newly created micro app, or you can publish without notification. Once it's published, you can head back to the library and you'll find your first new micro app in the library. Now, click on the small share button in the bottom right hand corner. You can share your micro app via email with a message. You can also generate a public share link or get embed code to place this micro app into a web page. Or lastly, you can share via some third party marketing platforms. And that concludes today's 10 minute lesson. But if you're looking for more tips, you can find previously recorded webinars on our website, or you can find answers to a lot of your questions at support.tile.co.